Okay, the question of the 21st century, post 20 years at war in GWAT. What's better, thermal imaging, as you see here, or night vision? So we got PVS 31s, PVS 14s, we got Chinese knockoffs. We have the light weapon thermal imaging. This thing right here is like, I don't know, 20, 30, $40,000. Um, so what do you actually want to use if you have to go and do the Lord's work? Let's put it to the test. I'm gonna have four young men, completely objective, specialists in the world of hide and seek. Yes, they are teenagers. So we're gonna bring them out here into the woods. We're gonna let a couple of them just skirt out there and we're gonna see which one they think is the most useful and uh, their trade craft will be put to the test. So here we go, let's go. to which ones you thought were superior optics remain. I felt like if I was just like s sitting still and I was just like watching, uh -huh. I would definitely use like thermal, but because I was like basically like running in the woods, like looking for stuff, yep. like night vision was better for me. Uh -huh. I like the night vision better running through the woods. Oh. But since we were standing still watching like my dad, I think it was, that was better for the thermal, but the night vision was better running. Yeah. Okay. Just, just a few thing. minutes and you guys sound like battle-hardened veterans. Mm -hmm. What's better, night vision or thermal imaging? It ultimately comes down to what are you doing with it? So if you're hunting, regardless of what you're hunting, if you're just hunting in general, the ability to use an IR laser in conjunction with something that optimizes what you can see at night, like an IR magnification of night vision, that is very, 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 very useful. Um, you're able to zero your rifle with that laser and where that laser and that bullet intersect um, is the zero range of your weapon system and you're able to use either a weapon mounted night vision or a um, helmet mounted night vision. That's pretty useful. Thermal imaging, you can also mount it to a weapon system and that thermal imager has to stay on that weapon system. So like there's good and bad to that too. Ultimately, there's not like a flat out winner. Like if you're playing hide and go seek like they are right now, you know, we have equal numbers of night vision and thermal that they keep coming back to take because they understand that one's better than the other. And it's kind of the same when it comes to combat operations, the same when you're hunting, it's like user preference, but there is an application for both, but understanding when to use it and why to use it totally makes sense. So the jury's still out. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>